<laughs> All right, I'm gonna start this video off just like this cuz it's UFC fight night motherfuckers Woo! I'm just fucking hyped that you know, we got fights to talk about the fights are gonna go down um, Get straight to it like I always do Mackenzie Dern versus Hannah Cyphers. Damn Mackenzie Dern fell off in her last fight. Oh, ouch Man with her father in the crowd all that pressure, you know Man, let's let's just talk about what the UFC does, okay? They produce superstars. You just you have to fucking take that into consideration. The UFC is the business. First and foremost, at the end of the day, these motherfuckers want to make money, and the only way they're going to make money is by getting you to remember names, by getting you to remember athletes, by getting you to remember fighters, by getting you to remember these you know, just spectacular individuals. That's what pretty much just the, the how I could sum it up, you know. And um, make no doubt about it, Mackenzie Dern, she is a spectacular human being. Um, she's been able to get some highlight reel finishes in the UFC um, starting her career, you know. Obviously, um, she's had some good fights. She's, she's, she's been put up against... Um, People that are going to, <coughs> sorry about that. Um, people that are going to, pretty much, how do I say this? Show if she belongs in the UFC. What the UFC does, um, like look at Greg Hardy. You know, Greg Hardy has been getting no fucking passes, and this is a ex NFL player. You know, and he's been getting put against a who's who. You know. Um, the former freaking champion, heavyweight champion, he, he just fought and he took an L2, you know? No shame in that. But again, let's go back to Mackenzie Dern. Mackenzie Dern just took an L in her last fight. And that's because she got put up against a, a up-and-coming, you know, rising star, you know? Um, the UFC does that. They'll put you up against the best of the best just to see if you are that good. And um, one thing that's been going on is Mackenzie Dern has been shying away from her strengths. Or maybe not necessarily shying away. She just hasn't been able to implement her game plan. And her game plan is to get you to the floor and submit you. That's her best bet. But she's just been having trouble with the upper echelon of the elite strikers. Or maybe not the elite yet because she's not there um, close to a title shot yet. But... What I'm saying is that once the strikers start getting good, it just starts making it really hard for her to be able to get those easy takedowns. Those easy takedowns that used to come in those uh, jiu-jitsu tournaments that she would win, um, they're just not there anymore. And uh, it sucks, man, because Mackenzie Dern, man, she's a, a beautiful human being. And I don't mean by um, her outer appearance. I mean just in general. I've had the opportunity of meeting her, and she, she was gracious, um, you know, and she was... Um, you know, welcoming and she was just kind and tender. And, you know, it's just when people are like that to their fans, you could just tell they're they're just that like that in general, you know, they're not fake, they're not fronting. And um I think a lot of people think that Mackenzie Dern's trying to put on some front. No, I think she's just a naturally happy human being, you know. And uh Hannah Cyphers, she's a vet in the UFC, but um she's just, it just hasn't been going her way. Um, I've been hearing a lot of, um, you know, people talking about her um, lack of cardio or maybe um, maybe just not being as athletic. So in this fight, um, it's Mackenzie Dern's last opportunity to pretty much make an ascent, pretty much start getting her way up, start building a win streak. So we'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah, I'm excited about this fight. I'm excited about tonight.